Hey guys, Kurt from Time Machine Transport again. I hope you guys uh, watched that escape from an apartment or a condo. It, it would apply to your home as well if you're stuck in a room or something. But anyways, I'm just driving out to the shop and I was I wanted to do a quick video on you guys should look up <coughs> excuse me a 2012 Olympics uh, opening ceremony video. And also, it should pertain. It should contain the opening ceremony and the closing ceremony. It was from 2012, but it pertains to what's going on right now. Um, so they had the top of the um, the top of the um, the dome where they were where the the ceremony was taking place. The top of the, of the dome was the coronavirus symbol. They also had um, hospital beds and patients laying on the beds. And they had, and these are all performers in costume, obviously. They had um, doctors and nurses that were dancing. So they're all, it's all choreographed, obviously. But they're all dancing. And then you look at the videos that doctors and nurses are doing now because, and I'm not saying this in a bad way, I'm a, I apologize if I'm offending anybody. I offend often, I guess. But, um, you know, doctors and, and nurses and, and well, they have medical staff doing the videos of, you know, dancing or whatever on, on uh, <coughs> YouTube and Twitter and what's he and Tony, something or other. But anyways... Um, I don't I pay really much attention to that, but but they have they have dancing doctors and nurses or medical staff out there, and there's many couples. It's all choreographed, like I said, but they're all dancing. And then they have that uh, what's her what was her name Gretchen Ingrid Ingrid Gretchen, the little girl that came on and and uh, said how dare you, and she's got the braid. They had a little girl on there underneath, like, this sheet, and she's got the braid, and she's she's hiding under this sheet to hide from the virus or the boogeyman, and she, she kind of looks like Gretchen, what's her name, Ingrid Gretchen or whatever, the girl from England or whatever, Austria, I think it was England, but that's pretty weird. And then they have a like a big head, um, you know, like how you know how those uh, those floats are. They got like the big head or whatever, and it looked like it was a blonde guy laying in a bed or sitting up in a bed with this huge head, huge blonde hair, and he kind of resembled the prime minister from England. And, you know, he was diagnosed and he was in the hospital with. Um, with, you know, the crown virus, and it was just really odd, man, it was really strange, and then they had, it was just a very, 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 very intriguing video, but it was so crazy how they have the, and I'm, I'm regurgitating another um, guy's info that he put on there, but it's something you guys should really check out, man, I mean, it, it was pretty crazy, man, I mean, to have the coat, and then they had a wheel on there it was some kind of lighting up wheel it was going it was kind of like it was emitting like rays or energy and the new uh british royal um pound like their their currency has a wheel on the top of it and also it's got like one of those um hologram kind of uh pictures or things on it where if you move the bill it kind of gets you get get a different vision or whatever and it looks like it's a wheel with like rays popping out of it so you want to talk about i mean pre-planned holy cow man that was that was crazy but totally pertains to what's going on today um with this whole thing i mean it was just it was kind of kind of eerie, man. But they had the dancing medical staff. They had 
the wheel they had, the, the little girl, the Ingrid Gretchen or whatever her name was, um, the boogeyman, the top of the, of the dome or the, the center where they were performing the priest ceremony and the, um, the end ceremony and how it all came together, man. It was pretty weird, man. So, and I know people are all like conspiracy theorists this and conspiracy theorists that, but you guys should check it out, man. It was pretty, pretty crazy. Um, uh, what's the name of the channel? Um, oh, the scariest movie ever. A guy named KJ. Seems like a really nice guy. But he had the video on there. And I know a lot of people, you know, they may not listen to the same stuff that I listen to or whatever. And I don't listen to the same stuff you listen to. However, I think we should all, re you know, unite and listen to the same things that are pertaining to our um, our lives right now. Because it's pretty crazy. And then obviously, you know, Iran shooting up or putting up a... Um, a satellite into space and Trump threatening to gun down um, the uh, the Iranian the, the Iranian um, patrol boats that are firing on our U.S. naval ships and he finally say finally threatened them and said, "Hey, listen, if you you guys do it one more time, we're going to blow you out of the water." And also, I, I don't know I, I don't know if you guys are, but my wife, you know, everybody knows my wife's a nurse. Well, not everybody, but the people that. It's channel and have watched my videos she has said that a lot of cardiology patients a pretty good majority of them are calling and they're saying that they're really super tired lately and they don't they don't know if it's their medication or whatever the case is but um i fucking hate that too man but uh if uh um I, i've i've been kind of tired too man I, I mean it's like you're getting i mean you're you get, I mean, I don't really sleep well. I mean, some nights I sleep very well, but I don't know if you guys, a couple, I mean, a bunch of my brothers are like, you know, they're waking up at 2 a.m. And, and just looking out the window and waiting for stuff to happen or whatever. And and I'm sure it's part of anxiety or whatever. But my wife, because when I told her, and she, my wife's been tired too. And, you know, I mean, we work a lot or whatever. And But um, she said, God, I'm just like, like abnormally tired and I and I said I am as well and then obviously you know all these patients and then I got brothers that are saying that they're really tired and I don't want to be that guy where it's like oh they're trying to kill us or whatever but um they uh is it are they spraying something that's making us tired to kind of bring us down you know I mean I know my wife's because I said what well, could it be like lithium or whatever and she said, you know, they, they use that for antidepressants or whatever. So is it lithium? Is it is it something or is it something that, you know, that's in the atmosphere right now or this 5G stuff they're talking about? I don't know. But, but I wonder if any of you guys are overly tired. And I know, of course, stress tires you out or whatever and anxiety and, you know, the uncertainty of everything. But, I mean... I don't know. It just to, to have a lot of people call the hospital and and ask the staff if you know they're just saying that they're super tired and me being tired and my brothers being all tired, my wife being tired. Just a lot of people seem like they're really tired lately. And like I said, I know, but could they be spraying something? That's the gazillion dollar question. So uh, once again, check out that channel and uh, scariest movie ever. Pretty sure that's what it's called. His name's KJ. Seems like a nice guy. Got a lot of subscribers. And uh, listen to it, man. It was pretty wild. Pretty wild. And another thing you're probably going to be seeing is um, <clears throat> if, if Iran put, I mean, they said they put this satellite up, obviously, you know, to spy on their enemies, as, as we have so many satellites up there in Russia and China and everybody. But it's cloudy again here in Wisconsin. We live in, uh, in Kenosha, and our shop's in Burlington. I don't care where you guys know where we live. I give a shit. A lot of people on YouTube are all so quiet, you know, so secretive about this and that. I don't I don't care. I might give you my exact address or show you my license. I mean, Kenosha's a decent-sized town. You'd have to look for a while. But um, it's really, it's cloudy again here. Um, it seemed like the clouds just came out of anywhere the other just out of nowhere the other day 
we were sitting on the balcony and it was nice and sunny. And then it just rolled in and it's really super windy and the, the weather's cold here th today. It's my dash said it's 42 and it's been just super windy here and whatever. But I'm one, you know, I'm wondering if we're going to see more cloudy days around the world, around the country, um, because so satellites can't really see. And I know they probably have way better technology than back when I was in the military, but. Um, you know, can they see through the clouds, you know, with heat signatures? I mean, I'm sure they probably can see heat signatures. I mean, they did in Wuhan, China. But was it a cloudy day? Was it a non-cloudy day? Who knows? But if we have cloud overcasts, the satellites, can they see exact imaging? Um, can they see the heat signatures? Whatever the case is. But I'm just wondering over, like, you know, they, they moved all the B-52 bombers out of Guam as well. Um, to whatever other locations are they moving them somewhere else around the world or around the country because they know what what's happening i mean look what happened during pearl harbor they moved the battleship or the uh the aircraft carriers out of pearl harbor because they our government knew about pearl harbor i mean they uh fdr the the president during that time needed to get into the war because uh churchill the prime minister of england needed our assistance and we really need needed to enter the war because Germany wasn't, Hitler was a crazy man, so um, we needed to get involved or we'd all be speaking German right now, um, so, and it's hard for a president to say to his, to the, to the nation, hey, we need to go help our allies and get into this war because it's going to eventually hit our, our own uh, soil. People would be like, you're freaking crazy, man. You're not, we're not getting into a war. So you have to create a smoke screen. You have to create a major incident. If you look back in history, all major battles were caused by uh, a major event. 9-11, Vietnam. I mean, there were so many different, World War I, World War II. Um, a, a lot of these things, the Iraq War, I mean, there was so many... You have to have a major event in order to justify to the people that's why we're going to war. So you need to make sure that, you know, like the Japanese were planning on attacking Pearl Harbor regardless. Regardless. It wasn't like we were like, hey, you guys want to attack us? No. We got intel that they were going to attack us. There's a lot of proof out there. If you watch and listen and read up on history, you will see so many so many things pointing to that our government, F, our government FDR, knew about the attack on Pearl Harbor, and so did the generals. And like I said in my other videos, it's it's um, um, uh, collateral damage. You're going to have casualties, whatever, and that that's the price that we pay to for our freedom. And I know it, I know I sound like a horrible person when I say that, but. They needed collateral damage. They needed casualties. They needed the American people to be angry. So then when we say we're now declared war on Nazi Germany and Japan. New text message the, from Max Diesel Mechanic. The people are all, you know, they're all up in arms and they're all uniting and they're all celebrating. And they're like, woohoo, all right, we're going to go attack these bastards because they attacked us. So that's what I'm saying. So they moved these B-52 bombers out of Guam because do they know something's coming? Um, do they know that, you know, the sleeper cells here in America are uh, just waiting for the word to start attacking us? Is that the reason for the smokescreen virus that they need people to, um, to you know, have enough food and water and ammo and guns and everything else because they know it's going to come to our soil. They know it's going to come to our front. Quite possibly, man. I mean, anything could happen, man. I mean, these are all just theories. I'm not speculating. I'm just saying these are just these are just regular theories. But um, it, it is cloudy again here, and I, you know, I wonder if they're, you know, they say harp is a real thing. That you know, weather modification and everything. Um, <clears throat> they can uh, they can modify. They say if you control the weather, you control the world. I guess is what they say about harp. But it's it's proven fact that. The government has admitted that they can manipulate the weather. In what way, what form, I don't know. I don't really... They're going to do whatever they're going to do. As, as long as they don't try to... Keep, as long as they don't take our constitutional rights and our civil rights away, 
they're going to do whatever they want, but don't try to come for my guns. Don't try to come for my freedom of speech and my, I mean, they're already attacking our right to peacefully assemble. But the people are starting to stand up, man. Power to the people. Right on. Um, but, so, are they going to start having more cloudy areas so that the satellites can't see down and see what we're doing, see where we're putting stuff, see where we're organizing? Because, you know, war, war is imminent. It's, it's going to come, and whether it's the war on us people and they're going to try to invoke martial law or it's war for, with us with another country and, and defend to, to, vent, to defend our homeland, whatever the case is, something's definitely coming. So I'm going to, I'm up when I get out to the shop, I got to repair an air switch in my dash. I tore it apart yesterday and did a fuel line. But when I put the, uh, the dash back together and I put the sealant in there and I'm waiting for it to dry, I'll do the, I'll do the cheap weapons or whatever. <clears throat> so anyways, just wanted to give you guys a little heads up and some stuff to watch. Um, but definitely go and check that video out, man, about the 2012, um, pre-ceremony or whatever, or opening, opening ceremony and closing ceremony. So hope this video finds you well, please thumbs up, like the channel, um, subscribe to the channel and let's stick together as a people and organize, man. Ciao.